Basic amount in 30 seconds. Am I gonna write Queso's name? No, Queso has not followed me back yet, unfortunately. Hi, Tooth, welcome in. That's a for not to the mente, Queso no. Oh, como se dice say to follow? We'll see. One day. I did fall asleep watching a stream, though. Okay, three, two, one. And yes, I do a face cam today. Hello. I'm Max over here today. But good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, lighting is different because I have more natural light in my room today because if I'm going to be drawing, I need more light. Because today we're going to be doing follower journal calligraphy. Um, so I feel weird. <laughs> so mics over here. <laughs> Um, but welcome into hello. Um, I'm tired. Ooh, last night I saw the uh, Wild Robot movie. It was it was good. It was like obvious what it's about, but it was still like a really cute movie. It was surprisingly like really uh, guttural, because uh, obviously the movie's about like a robot that is in the woods, but there's a lot of sequences that are like not violent, but it's just like pure raw like nature it's like wild <laughs> like there was a lot of jokes about like animals killing each other <laughs> and it was really funny because like we went last night and the theater was like filled with families and it was just like parents giggling at the jokes <laughs> like i don't think i barely heard like any of the kids laughing <laughs> but it was good trigger warning um literally the first five seconds there's like a thunder or lightning sequence um, flash warning. I, I had to look away. It was, like, too much. But otherwise, like, it was good. It was good. Would I see it again? Probably not. Because, like, the reason- Okay, the reason why I wanted to see Transformers again is because I wanted to, like, pick up on more clues and lore. But with Wild Robot, it's just, like, it's a story. It's also based on a book, which I feel like DreamWorks does a lot. Like, a lot of their original IP is just books, which is good. You know, giving more attention to, like, traditional media. But yeah. Guys, the plan today is simple. Writing all my followers' name for the month of September. We got... Wait, let me actually see if I can... Look at my analytics for real. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I open Twitch <laughs> and the home page is playing. Um Analytics overview. Let's see, for the month of September I gained eight followers. Wait, did I keep them all? Eight no way. I only have to write like eight names today. Um you know what sucks? The gifted subs that I got on September 30th, since they were later in the day, they don't count. For September, they count for October revenue, so my Twitch payout is smaller this month. But you know what? It's okay. It's chill. I actually did look at my numbers last night. I can buy one video game. Oh my god. Okay, boys, the plan is simple. Writing the eight people who follow my channel, and then drawing the top donators. Now, I said this yesterday, but the top gifter... And top cheerer for every month can get an India in India Ink portrait made on stream and then mail to them. We'll do that from this point on. Because we're getting more like smaller donations throughout the month for more viewers, so that's good. Um so last month it was Cole Bobo and Kim. I got a picture from Kim, so we'll be drawing Kim again today. But yeah, that's the plan. Are we ready? Guys, second camera. In no way. Okay. So I got like the music is loud, really? There we go. I made it lower. Thank you. It could be because it, it's soft for me, but loud for you guys. Because <laughs> I have my headphones today, so we... I mean, VOD watchers won't hear it. <laughs> okay. I only got, like, eight names to write. Oh, wait, also, I forgot. Today's stream is presented to you by... Wrong scene. 
Peace and art on myshopify.com. Guys, click the link in chat, exclamation point art, bookmark my website. New Lionel prints will be available on Friday, and we'll also be doing the shareholders meeting on the art channel, which is peace and underscore art on Twitch, where we'll be going over the results of the consumer survey. So if you haven't filled out the survey, fill out that link that's in the pinned chat today, please, and thank you. We need two more submissions to hit the goal of 10. Okay, I'm locked in. Okay, so we got like, let's see. We got seven names to write. That means only one person unfollowed, which is a pretty good ratio. Usually, half the people who follow click unfollow. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, it's actually pretty good for a peace and channel. So I need to make more email addresses? No, that's not how it works. That won't help me. There's a hair in the journal. It's my hairs, don't worry. I really want to play Odyssey again. I watched uh, Smolin's video the other day. And I, I really want to play Odyssey. But I don't know what I can do with it. The only other thing I can think I can do is uh, beating Odyssey in a day. But I want to save that for like uh, when I have more viewers. Four names left, everybody. Surely I won't mess him up. What if somebody follows with a really sus name? Then we just, like, don't talk about it. Whenever I used to write somebody's name, I used to read it out loud. But then I decided to stop doing that. In case there's, like, an unintentionally sus name. But I usually ignore it, unless it's like, really, really bad, and then I just skip it. Because I don't know if there's a way for people to view whoever follows you. 
but every streamer can see literally every single user that follows their channel. There's a list in our settings. Do I still write them? It depends. Like, if you look at the Twitter thread, there's like one or two innuendous ones, but they're not like insane. Because my personal rule is, if I won't say it out loud, then I won't allow it. Ooh, that four is clean. Two more names. Here we go, and we're done. That's probably the fastest we've done ever. <laughs> Here we have it. That's all the followers for the month of September. I mean, it makes sense because I streamed less hours. But, you know, good night. If you see your name, feel free to screenshot. Pictures might go up on Twitter today if I have enough full pages. So thank you to the seven people who followed the channel. You know, we are 120 away from the yearly goal. My goal is to hit 1k this year. Have I gotten follows with foreign characters? So I think with foreign characters, they still have to have, like, English characters. Like, you'll see, I've seen some usernames that have, like, uh, Japanese characters, but then it'll have, like, an English name next to it. So I think every user has to have English characters. Oh. oh, this is just an extra journal. Sorry, I'm like looking at this and I like I have I have guideline dots on the opposite side of the paper. So I thought it like bled through with pen, but it's just like silly me, I went through the book this way and pre did the guideline dots, but it doesn't matter because I'm doing it from the opposite side now. Bah. Okay, well that was the followers for the month of September. Now we can move on to drawing the top donator. So like I said, whoever gives the most subs and then whoever shares the most bits every calendar month will get a India Ink portrait made. Last year we did Kim, or not last year, last month we did Kim because Kim was the top donator during the subathon. Okay. So I'm going to go through the process entirely just to like stall a little bit. So what I need to do is I need to cut the paper. I need to make the guidelines, sketch, line art, ink, and then complete. So I'm going to go grab my uh, die cutter.
Dude, what was that sound? It sounded like this, <laughs> the sound the computer makes when you do like self checkout. Ah. Okay. So I'm gonna need to cut a five by seven sheet of paper because the illustration will be four by six. I can cut this either way, but I'll do it this way. Now careful, because this is a blade cutter. Be very careful. Never put your fingers here. I'm not putting it there! But be very careful. Blade is very sharp. I have yet to clip myself on it. You know, I ain't farming. Oops, <laughs> I hit the camera. <laughs> okay, so this is seven inches long. Five by seven, perfect. Watch out. I'll have to cut more paper later because all of my Inktober drawings are also five by sevens. But I forgot that I needed to cut all the paper. So I'm going to do that off stream later. Talking about Inktober, I do have. Um, I'll be posting the daily sketches, line arts, and inks on my art Instagram, which is peacein underscore art underscore. It has two underscores. And I will not be posting it anywhere else throughout the month. So if you want to see them, you got to follow the Instagram. But you know what? I'll leak a little bit. <laughs> Screenshot. That's the only thing you're going to get. Otherwise, you got to follow the Instagram to see it. Okay, now I have my 5x7 sheet of paper. I'm going to make my guidelines. I lost my clear ruler. I'm genuinely fucking pissed off about it. But it's fine. So I'm going to be drawing guidelines every inch. Because so I did edit the reference picture that I'm going to be using today for Kim. So right now I'm just doing little dash marks. Okay, this sheet of paper is not 5 by 7 What intonation. It's a little bit off. Photo Stavian. I forgot that I had to put guidelines for the Half an inch border. Right now I'm using a HB pencil. So it's a mixture of like a uh, fine point lead and then also a softer. So it's really good for when you're putting down like your base sketches. That way you don't, that way the actual lead doesn't scratch the paper too much. And then also, um, you get enough like lead on the paper so it's a dark enough pigment so since i lost my clear ruler it's in my room somewhere um i'm gonna be using my circle stencil just because it has like a nice clean straight edge 
And what's really cool about the stencil, you might see me one like this at Michael's, but this is my mom's that she gave me, or I stole. It's like 20 years old. But it's nice because in the center of every circle, there's a line that divides it. So if I go like this to the edge of my paper, it'll be a perfectly straight edge relative to the actual border of the paper. Let's see, I started this at about 20 minutes, right? I need to see how long this actually takes me. Because no narcs, but if enough people want me to draw them like this, then I might offer it under, like, custom work. Because the last time we did this took three hours. But that was tracing and then inking. So, like, nothing too crazy. Because my Inktober last night, I think, took about two hours. But I was doing other stuff in between. Talking about Inktober, I'm still taking viewer submissions for reference. Pictures will not be posted, but the final drawings will be for any photo reference that I use. So drawing the guide takes the longest. Oh, my paper moved. Okay, that's fine though. Okay, now that I have my grid down, I can actually start sketching. I'm not going to show the reference on stream. Oh wait, maybe I should. Nah. Nah, that's okay. I'm finding the reference on my computer. Yeah. I got it pulled up. So this is called the grid method. You are going to make a grid that has a similar overlap and proportion to your actual reference. So this is a four by six. So on the reference picture, one inch, one square inch will be relative to the reference I made. 
because I did the same ratio of a 4 by 6 grid on top of my reference picture. Now the grid isn't perfect because I didn't line my lines up, but you know what? It's chill. It's fine. Okay, now time for sketch. Now when I sketch people, I always start with the eyes first. I don't know why. This ain't too bad. So basically, the way I'm drawing today is going to be as similar to how I'm doing this year's Inktober. I haven't done Inktober in, like, legit five years. If you scroll down on my actual, like, main Instagram account, you can find them. The reason why I'm doing it again this year is just to, like... I need to be drawn every day. I gotta. Gotta get good again. Cause I'm not saying you have to practice every day to be good. But obviously the more hours you put in for anything, you will get better with time. Now, gritting is kind of like cheating, in my opinion. Because notice how I'm not drawing, like, the main shapes and forms. So the way that gritting works is you're basically just translating and redrawing the lines that you see, not the shapes. Gritting is really good if you want to, like, practice just observing what you're seeing in the more literal sense. Because in order to abstract from life without gritting, you have to think about the forms and shapes. So it's a very... It's more of a roundabout way. This is very straightforward. Like, you're literally just drawing what you're seeing when you're gritting. But when you're drawing without a grid, you're just drawing what you imagine that you're seeing, kind of. That's why, I like, the drawings that I do when I do use gritting look far better. In my opinion.
Okay, the eye shape is totally wrong. That's why it's like messing me up. There we go. That's a bit better. Oh, yeah, that's better. This eye was fucking me up. Yeah, that looks a lot better from a distance. I also have to be careful because I'm drawing on my desk with no, like, angle. So right now I'm looking at my paper from like a 35 to 45. You'll see like artists draw on an easel. So the drawing is like straight ahead like this or at a slant. Because when we're looking at a table, I'm looking at it like this. And when you rotate, it will look distorted. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're just drawing without a drafting desk. That's what it's called. Wait, I can't show the ref, but like, I think the dress that Kim is wearing is the same one she wore for the, the Animal Crossing card. I think it's the same pattern. See, we're 40 minutes. That's, dude, that's 15 minutes to sketch. That's not good. <laughs> I 
It's not quick. I feel like the eyebrows are off. It's hard because, like, selfie anatomy, since it's more of a fisheye lens, the anatomy is, like, not right. Because what you see in a selfie camera and a fisheye lens is not what your actual eye see. It's always really hard to, like, draw from. Okay, and then she's got a necklace that has her name on it. Narcissist. <laughs>
I had to help with lunch. What'd you make? I think today I'm going to make meatballs for dinner. Stir-fried beef, rice, and salad? Ooh, yummy. Stir-fry is always good. I can never, like, make it, though. Anytime I try it, don't taste authentic. <laughs> yeah, today is just gonna be a lot of, a lot of me going like this. I can't get the nose right. I think that's the best it's going to look. This angle's weird. Oh, that doesn't look as bad on camera. It could be because I'm looking at it from the downward angle. Yeah, that doesn't look as bad, no.
It's still a whip, exactly. I mean, I'm just penciling tattoos and moles. Now we can actually like go kind of crazy with the floral print. On the dress, actually. You like dried fruits? I love dried fruits, but I've been trying to avoid them for a while because the sugar content is astronomically higher than like a fresh fruit. It's not healthy. But dude, I think the best thing were those rainbow grapes we had during the celery shoot. Those were so good, genuinely. Okay, it's been forever. Yeah, I think Indian ink portraits will take minimum two hours. That's chill. Do I have something to watch in the background? Like, am I watching a TV show? <laughs> oh, you mean for the survey questions? Uh, it depends on what content it is. If it's like a, a video meant that doesn't have much uh, visual editing, then I'll like put it on in the background like a stream. But if it's more like a highly produced video, then I'll like sit down and watch it. But my concentration is, excuse me, getting worse and worse as I get older. It's all those Tic Tacs. I currently have you and the TV on. Which one are you dialed in, though?
You but I should be working? Girl, you gotta stream the TV on while you're working? SMH. There's so many different florals in this. I don't, because there's like a purse strap right here next to the dress strap, and I don't like how it looked together. Overlapping, it doesn't, I don't like it. So I'm just not going to draw it. I'm not going to do it. Okay, most of the flower details are done. I think... Here, let's get it zoomed in for you guys. I think that's pretty solid for a base sketch. You know what else is pretty solid? Watching ads, because guys, we are an hour in a stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $5.99 to $6.00. Skip your copy and get ad previewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and subscribe for free. Click subscribe right now. Thank you. And if you haven't already, you can fill out the survey that's in the pin chat. Okay, so that took... Dude, 40 minutes for the sketch. That's not good pace at all. No bueno. Okay, now, time for inking. Now, I'm not going to do fine line art with the regular paintbrush. That's too scary.
I'll keep it zoomed in for now. Do, do, do. He locked in. I'm going to start with my number two liner and go from there. Number two is my favorite. I hate doing glasses. It's because they're so easy to see if they're asymmetrical. But you know it's fine. Not too bad. This room is far thicker than that one. <laughs> oh well. We'll just say it's stylistic choice. Nobody tell her. It's also some of the nose bridge part there.
found a commit. Clean. Okay, let's do the first turn then. Watch this. Nice. Clean. So pretty. Wait, are you flirting with Kim? Uh, <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Flitting with paper, Kim. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Flush. Okay, the ear looks weird, but ears always look fucking weird. Would it be weird if I used your emotes in other chats? No, it's like self-promo, and I kind of like that. I mean, my emotes are meant to be versatile. Majority aren't inside jokes. So, like, people can use them in most any chat, and it'll kind of make sense. Excuse me. Dude, I don't know why I'm burping so much. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I need to drink water. <laughs> I'm locked in.
What happens if I get a line wrong? I don't see anything, and we say it's intentional. There's no such thing in, as mistakes in art. Just happy little accidents, right? You can paint a tree over it. That also works. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to the hair. I don't want to add too much to it. Now time for the necklace.
Now I gotta do detailing at the top. Hi, Malk. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Oh, wait, Malk. Since you followed during September, you did get your name written earlier. Ain't no way. How's our going? It's going good. Taking it a bit slow, but, you know. We only got one person to draw this month, so I can take my time. Wait, Melk, have you filled out the survey that's in the pin chat? If not, you should smile. Dude, I swear the detailing is going to take the longest. Now I just want to say, this drawing is worth 3,500 bits. If you want to draw next month, uh, go crazy. That looks pretty good, honestly.
Now, some of these drawings are meant to be asymmetrical. They're not supposed to be perfect. done wait cool thank you i appreciate that milk um uh, make sure you're following the my art channel because re results will be shown on stream on friday but thank you i really do appreciate that wait that's huge imagine a call to action actually working but genuinely thank you I'm not that good at art, but I'm willing to at least try and be better. You know what? Nobody is born Picasso. So the more you practice anything, you will probably get better. If you do want to get better at drawing, um, just try different mediums. I think starting off with digital art is very daunting. 
literally get pencils, get markers, get pens, and just try different shit. I think everybody can draw. It's just not everybody has the motivation to get better at drawing. Okay, mm. I gotta draw an eyelashes. There we go. Yeah, you can't really see it, but I know it's there, so it's fine. Girl. This is gonna take all day. What is kind of nice about this pattern inside the shirt is that I could just draw whatever and it doesn't truly matter. W drawing, thank you. It's been a it's been an hour 15 so far. So actually not doing too bad on time. Cuz I find the thing that takes the longest is the line art and then the sketching, but coloring with the India inks doesn't take too long. Guys, do you think I'm a W streamer type W? Sorry, I saw all the W's down here. Wait, where's my hand? Down here, and I thought I saw like World War Three. <laughs> Can't be having that just yet. Am I going to get any of the new games, like Jamboree or Mario Luigi? Yes, I'm planning on getting the new Mario Party Jamboree. I might play it on stream, like, the day or two after it comes out, because we're going to get shipped. And then I probably will get the Mario Luigi game once it comes out. It just depends on the budget. Guys, click subscribe right now. But I don't think anything can talk like Mario Wonder. Mario Wonder was really good. I want to play it again. Whenever I become like a 100 viewer streamer, we will do beating Wonder, beating Odyssey, beating every single Mario game in one stream. Not every single game in one stream, but like one stream for Odyssey, one stream for <laughs> Wonder. Because I've done full playthroughs already. Yeah, it's the new Mario Party game. I, I've been trying to avoid, like, all the trailers and, like, sneak peeks. Because, like, I want to be as surprised as I can be for the new Mario Party.
one game per stream yeah that's what i want to do but like right now since i average less than five viewers it's not advantageous for me to do super long streams all the time so mariothon wait i just saw that oh like Ma wait mario day march 10th Ooh, playing every single mario game wait Guys, you better hope we hit 100 viewers by March. <laughs> Can we do it? My brain is so big. That is actually really good. I was gonna do something like that for Mario Day, but... It was just too much. I was busy in March, I think. I'll start clicking those best viewers ads. No, don't bot this stream. I could get in trouble. No. You know, I was initially kind of hating the thought of, like, drawing in the dress, but it's just, like, doodling. I'm kind of chill with it now. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk milk. <laughs> you know, I know when I'm getting old when I don't understand what you guys say. I'm 25. Wait, what time is it? It's 11.30. Maybe I should get a snack, too. Maybe at noon. Because I ate at 9. That means I should eat lunch at 1 o'clock. Okay, I got an hour till lunch. I'm trying to eat every 4 hours. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, we are another 30 minutes into stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button, please, and thank you.
Okay, I think the details on the top are done. Cute. Okay, now I just need to add more detail in the hair. And then we can start actually filling in. I think I want to erase. I'm not going to color in the background. I think I'm just, I want to leave it white. That's pretty good. Oh, I forgot the other earring. Awkward. It's like right here. Clean. I didn't forget. I think I'm going to fill in the lines for the hair first and then I'll add smaller lines. Hi Mars, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Okay, 
base her lines are in. Now I'm going to add some other lines. Wait, I missed a section. I lied. Now I'm going to add smaller lines. Mario Wonder Music. Oh, I didn't draw on her tattoos. Shit. I don't know what her tattoos are. Okay, I think the line art is done. Creo que sí. Okay, now I can start actually coloring. Now for the fun part, the grays. I am going to be using my pre-mixed India ink colors. These are the ratios. Screenshot. This one is just water. Do I prefer working with inks or paint? I'm most comfortable with inks. I cannot do realism 
or hyper realism with either. It's because, like, I have a, a mental block. If I can't do something good, I don't want to do it. But then I know I should practice to become good. But then I hate practicing because then I'm bad. <laughs> so, I like the look of inks a lot. I also just like the look of black and white work. Because you're working with less. So I think it's impressive, when I, impressive whenever you can do more with less. So you're going to be a pro after Inktober? Basically, yeah. Hell yeah, brother. One of the first few things I did on stream was India Ink Portraits. And even now I can tell that like just my rendering has gotten better. Base flesh tone is down. Majority of the dress details will be white, basically, so I'm just going to fill in with the lightest gray I have.
lightest gray is done. Now time for the 1 to 50 ratio. Hi Milk, welcome back. So now we're going to add a little bit of dent. Looks dope, thank you. I'm tryharding. This was a good scary. Because in the reference picture, she's sitting under a tree, so it has this. I'm not going to say weird, like this. Interesting lighting. Wait, what are you guys talking about? I look away for one minute. What music is this? Sorry, I didn't look at chat for two minutes. I'm so sorry. Uh. Here you go. Here's the playlist I use on stream. This compilation is called Chill and Calm Nintendo Music for Calm Stuff and Study. It's Dusk Falls Fire Emblem. I ate 50 nuggets one time. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, how quickly though? You should try the 100 chicken nugget challenge. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's crazy. I had to tap out it. Oh, wait, no spoilers. It will be a YouTube video. No spoilers. I had to tap out. Okay, the lighting is going to look really weird. Just bear with me, okay? I was so hungry one time I ate a hundred nuggets. You're lying. You know, I could eat a whole pizza, but for some reason, nuggets are too much. If I could get a hundred, I would try it. Wendy's has, if you order on the mobile app, you can get a 40 to 50 pack of nuggets. In my area, it's 15 bucks.
Oh, I used to go to buffets every year for my birthday, but then they closed the local one that I went to. Wait, guys, I forgot. We're two hours in a stream. I'm sorry, but I'm also not. I have to run an ad. Imagine being a non-sub at a small streamer. Strong, small streamer shit. Uh, yeah, click go live into the 100 chicken now. Ch fuck, I can't talk. $18 for a Big Mac? Wait, what? What? That's crazy. Don't leak where you are, but that's crazy. That can't be right. That can't be right. If I had the money to do the challenge, I would, but I don't. <laughs> that's so real. It's real. I think the most expensive fast food... Sorry, I'm not flipping off the camera. Don't worry. I think the most expensive fast food burger I've seen was like... Uh, like $10 from Jack in the Box. But then also... Um, in my area, the minimum wage for fast food workers is high. And it's not California. I lost my picture. There we go. Okay, that doesn't look too bad now. Maybe if you're ordering through, like, DoorDash. Because we all know they, like, drastically inflate the prices for, like, delivery apps. But, like, I think I'm the sucker, because I would still pay $10 for that Jack and Box burger. <laughs> I've fallen right into their trap. I'm going to add some darker details to the doodles down here. Only to some of them, though. It's funny, I turn on face cam and you can't even see my face. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm like so leaned over my table. <laughs> Don't worry, when I get my million dollar setup, we'll have like so many camera angles flush. Okay. I think I'm done with my medium gray. Now it's time for the 1 to 20.
I bought a $35 Wagyu beef burger once and it was okay. I've only had Wagyu one time. It is because my sister saw that they had ground Wagyu beef at Safeway. And she was like, wait, we should try that. It's tasted the fucking same. <laughs> I couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> but I would be down to try a Wagyu burger. I'd be down. Too much income there. When my sister went to Japan last year, she did try Wagyu steak. But she said it was alright. But it's because, in general, she does not like steak. So <laughs> she was not the right person to go try it. She was not a good focus group. Okay, this looks wackier on camera. Okay, that looks better on the better camera. Wagyu steak or 10 boxes of ramen? You know Queso would pick the ramen. <laughs> Yeah, because a burger is like a mixture of all different types of ingredients, when steak is just pure raw meat. I think tonight I'm going to make meatballs anyway. It's going to be the pork and shrimp. Shumite. I feel like that's too dark, but fuck it. Too late. Okay, now I can fill in the hair. Best part. Ever since I had like authentic ramen in Japan, 
it is very rare that I crave, like, top ramen. Nothing compares to the real thing. The only food, consumer-wise, that is better mass-produced than, like, handmade is frozen pizza. In my opinion, even if frozen pizza is shit, it's still gonna be good. I cannot color in the earring. Be good, I didn't mess up. Okay, med toads are down. Now I can add the one to eight, the second darkest gray. Okay, so now it's been officially two hours. I'm on pace. The only reason why this is taking longer is because it's on stream. I know the sad song. No, guys. Guys. Right now I'm doing tiny, tiny strokes inside the eyebrow. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Mm-hmm. 
I think the hair, the top half is done. Actually, I want to add more eyebrow details. Just to make it a bit darker. There we go. It's about the subtle details, you know? Okay. Now the final part. Filling in the dress. This is going to be the solid. Uh, dark gray. This is hard.
the final section. And it's done. Don't be now. Ta-da! So that was two hours fifteen. That's actually pretty good on time. Oh wait, I gotta put the little eye shine. My gel pen is dead. Awkward. Yeah, it's done. Ta da. Oh, there it goes. Wow, look at that. Wow. That was two hours. Once again, thank you, Kim, for being September's top cheer from this point on. Whoever is the top gifter and top cheer every month will get a custom portrait drawn and mailed to them. There we go. I think you came on good. It's still hard to get used to, like, the harsher shadows, like, around, like, the corners of the mouth. It looks good. There we go. Well, guys, that was our show for today. Let's go over what we did. We did our follower journal for the month of September. We had seven people who followed. Oh, it zoomed in. Love it. Thank you. Maybe I'll get one this month, Mars. Who knows? There we go. So thank you to those who followed. And then... Our portrait. I think the glasses came out pretty good for once. I usually fuck up the glasses. Oh, 
Okay, guys. I'll move the mic closer to me. Thank you for watching. Any chatter suckers? Uh, thank you for watching me draw today. The plan is simple. I'm going to take tomorrow off, but that does not mean I'm not going to work. I'm going to be preparing for Friday's stream, which will be on my art channel, peace in underscore art. So make sure you are following that channel over on Twitch. I'm going to go ahead and put the link as a shout out command. Click the banner. Make sure you're following my second channel. I'll be live on it Friday. Let's say noon or between noon and 2 p.m. That's the goal. With the new Lionel Print Art Drop, and then also the first ever shareholders meeting. If you haven't filled out the survey yet, it is still on my Twitter. It's a quick Google form, it'll take you like five, ten minutes. But it'll give me some insight, and we'll share the results on Friday's stream. There we go, this is fine. Thank you all for watching. If you want something to watch right now, new YouTube video. But yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the week. Cheryl will stream on Friday. Maybe I'll stream this weekend. Who knows? But thank you guys for another great month. And it's on to October. The year is flying by, in it? Okay, bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, Mars. Also, I got your DM. Okay, last minute, everybody. Any final words? I declare bankruptcy. No! You know a quick way to make money? Click a life. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Dude, my Twitter keeps crashing.